What is up, everybody, and welcome back to Wasteland 3, episode 35 with the game. And we are just heading over to the doctor to get all healed up. And don't mind her skill points. I'm pretty sure it's just her skill point, right? Yeah. Like I said, don't mind those. We're, we're doing other things right now with her. Hey, Doc. We need some what help. What do you need, Rangers? Some help. Patch yourself. Of up. course. Have a seat. Thanks, Doc. Oh, I love having a free doctor. It's so good. It's so good. Mind the squeaky chair. Oh, we're done. Fine. Just don't get shot up out there. Uh, I really want to clone work. another one, but like, really don't want to listen to it. You know. Here you found some of the patriarch's enemies in black sight under Broadmoor. All right, let's go talk to these people then. Wait, did I not? Hmm, I didn't. Well, we need your coordination up. We know that from last time. I have some people we need to talk to back here. La Perla. A woman stands like a queen among a gang of hard men. She gives you a sleepy, dangerous smile. <laughs> Peace, strangers. We all know both sides are armed and lethal, so why don't we just skip the posturing and get to business, huh? Huh? Okay. A girl I own ran away recently, and it's proving harder than expected. To track her down she seems to sense us when we get too close mm, not gonna be about this one i think you on the other hand should never suspect <laughs> hell with your reputation for rescuing little lost lambs she might even seek you out so what you say hmm? want to find her for us uh a girl you own are you slavers <laughs> that bothers you you find it unethical? You kill crazy corpse robbing, tyrant funded gun jockeys are offended at how I make my living? Yes. Sorry, <clears throat> compadres. This is the end times. Nothing but us devils left. Who are you? I'm La Perla. And these. She sleeps an arm to, out to encompass her retinue. Are my boys. I know you. Ah, yes. Cordite. We've done business before. Tell your friends I'm a plain dealer, huh? You were square with me. What's the girl's name? Nelly. No. Hallie, I think. Anyway, her new owner will rename her. What's important is her description. Early twenties, blonde, shapely, skin like a princess. You'll know her when you see her, I promise you. She'll make your little hearts go peter pat. <laughs> well, what's in it for us? Uh, we shouldn't be condoning something like this. Not unless it's I'm a really good I'm not condoning deal. it yet, Quan. Ah, it is. I promise you. You know the sealed rooms in your base? Bet you're curious what's inside them. Bueno, I'll tell you for free. It's old world tech. The kind people waged wars for. And I know the codes. In the name of good faith, I'll give you one now. 900-909-3500. Test if you like. I'll wait. <laughs> You'll get the second code. The one that gets you into the room with the even better goodies. When you bring me my lost little lamb. How do we know about how do you know about these sealed rooms? Here all the time before we moved east. Had plenty of time to explore all its nooks and crannies. Hey, don't worry. No hard feelings about you taking it over. We like our new home on the plains. <laughs> Those warlords have a lot of money to spend. I'm gonna go verify that Not code first. Come see me when you've kitted yourselves out in your fancy new gear. <laughs> Adios, oh my god, they're making me choose between the awesome gear, man. That's not okay. 
to run faster, nerds. What are we gonna do, guys? I don't know. Do we? We can't do tra we can't do the traders, right? No. Enter the code. You enter the code. Press enter. The door slides open. What the heck? If she knows the code, why didn't she come in here herself? Plus one nerd stuff. And then just huge tank armor. Initial command approach. Recognize secondary authorization required at primary access point in the world. There's another one right here. There's another room. Door guard in the vault is enormous and resistant to the walls, floors, and ceiling. It seems the only way to get through is a numerical keypad. Nothing happens. Alright, we don't have access to that one. And there's something right here as well. Huh. Interesting. Ugh. I want to say I'm going to look for it and then not... Can I choose to not give them to her later? Maybe I can. So I can, like, trick them out of the code. Because I don't want to kill them because they know the code, right? Uh, that's rough. <clears throat> also, who else needed some tank armor? It was you. You already have some... Some big old tank armor there. Nice giant helmet for you. Does give plus one leadership. I think we'll let him keep that one. <clears throat> oh, and also the nerd stuff thing. I'm the nerd stuff guy, right? I am indeed. Currently, I have crit chance. Yeah, no, we can, we can change that out for some nerd stuff for sure. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. All right. La Perla. <laughs> Code was good, right? <clears throat> And the gear, too. The gear was okay. We'll find your girl. Gracias, friends. Send her here once you find her. Tell her you found her mama and she's waiting for her. We'll take care of the rest. Far as I know, she's still somewhere in Colorado Springs. Suggest you start looking downtown. Adios, compadre. I'm banking on being able to trick this person. So we don't want to do that way. We, we could do this one. <clears throat> We're gonna probably betray Charlie. We're gonna try to do that at some point as well. And we need to go to the Git family as well. Uh, we need to actually explore the uh, HQ as as well. You know, in, in case we haven't said as well yet enough yet. You've unlocked your garage. From here you can customize. I know that already. Maybe I didn't know that. I, I thought I did. The mm. out this piece of shit two days ago, and now they bring it back with hey. all new ones. How you no. doing? How you doing? Hey, we get paid the same no matter how many heaps we fix, right? Right. So maybe if they were a little easier on the hardware, we could take. Oh, all right, fast back. What's up? Hey, Rangers. Good to be here. We're the mechanics Gideon <clears throat> Ray has sent. Uh, don't mind the mess. <clears throat> We're still settling in. How are you finding your accommodations? We've had to make do with worse. In all honesty, though, this is a good space. Lots of room. Lots of supplies in reach. Give it a few more days, and we'll give you a garage that'd make Steel Town go green with envy. Anything you need? Well, Wrench said he met a mechanic up in the bazaar who had some real talent. Now, we don't really need more personnel, but it wouldn't hurt to have an extra set of hands. If you find yourself in the bazaar... See if you can find him and invite him over. Will do. We'll help you find that wrench jock. Appreciate it. Let's see what you got for sale. Of course. Sale. Let's see if we can find what you want. What do we got here? Some barter bonus? Okay. Barter bonus. Oh, these are just hood on upgrades. Okay, I was like, they don't do anything. Ooh, chassis upgrade, light vehicle plating. Those are expensive, man. Those are expensive. <clears throat> we need to break down some stuff. That's what we need to do. We have so much stuff. Well, we really need 
what's her name in our party if we're gonna do this. Oh well. Oh well. Just start stripping it all. Keep that. This is the weird science gun, right? It's not the weird science gun? I thought it was. Yeah, whatever, then fine. Take it away. Strip them all. Except the yellow ones. I'm not going to strip the yellow ones. Or this one. This one's just cool. <clears throat> but the rest of them... I want to sell you some more of course. stuff. Let's see if we can find what you want. I want to sell that. Yeah, that requires seven strength. I will sell though. It's fine. This is six. It requires four strength. Eh. Keep those legs. Definitely keep those. Definitely keep that helmet. Keep that helmet as well. Keep one of these helmets. I guess. The yellows. I'm gonna toss that one. And uh, we'll keep that one because of the bonus. <clears throat> Alright. Now, let's check you out. How are you doing on your, your hard ass skill? Pretty good. If we need to equip that, we will. We just have to remember. So survival, didn't I equip you with something different? Oh yeah, no, I thought this was a thing, but it's not. That's right. Alright. Cool. Give me my loot. We missed the other times we were in here. Any other new people? Know who I hate the most? Can't remember. Ooh. Fucking hundred families. All we do is take care of those rich motherfuckers. Yeah, how dare they even exist? Who do they even think they are? Bunch of punks. Here's Gideon Reyes. It's great to be here, Rangers. I love what you've done with the place. Now, what can I do for you? How are you settling up? Wonderfully. Thank you for asking. Your staff is so accommodating. I'd like to ask your advice on political That's matters. That's what I'm here for. How can I help? Um, if it, is a, if it was impossible to depose the Patriarch peacefully, would you still support a transfer of power? You mean a transfer of power to you? The storming the palace and fighting the marshals, confronting old Saul in his throne room, because that is what it would come to. Hmm. I suppose it might be possible to give Colorado the future I've been dreaming for her in that scenario, but it wouldn't be certain. It wouldn't even be likely, so... So, I'm afraid I'd have to say no. I would not support you. Thus, if you want me to remain here and to continue <clears throat> giving you advice, I would advise you not to tell me if that is the course you are intending to follow. Thank you, Gideon. What should you do if you want the Patriarchs? Hold That's an easy one. Do exactly what he says. Capture and hold his three rebellious offspring. And do it as swiftly and quietly as you can, without causing them any harm. I wouldn't say Sal loves his children, with the possible exception of Liberty, but he does consider them his to deal with. So... If you manhandle them, or, God forbid, kill them, he will not be pleased. And your reward will be in jeopardy. Oh, no. Treat them with kid gloves, rangers. Kid gloves. <clears throat> what if we need to remove the patriarch without bloodshed or chaos? Sadly, I don't think a peaceful <clears throat> transition is possible anymore, rangers. Good job uh, finding an appropriate me? place for the refugees. But now, what can I do for you? Give us thoughts on the I'm factions we're dealing with. I'm honored that you value my opinion. Go on. 
Can you tell us about the Gippers? They are fools. But unfortunately, because they own Colorado's only oil fields, we have to suffer with them. They worship a dead president as a god and walk around talking and acting like they were cowboys out of a child's picture book of the Old West. Ridiculous people. Saul should have dealt with them years ago. Can you tell us about the Hundred Families? Despite the Patriarch's belief that he built Colorado on his own, he couldn't have done it without the support of the Hundred Families. He protects us, true, but without our money, he'd be protecting us with sticks and stones, not tanks <clears throat> or guns. We are the money and the power here, and the keepers of the values of our survivalist forebears. Strong alone, but stronger together like the mountains. Anyone who intends to rule here would have to appease the families first. Tell us about the refugees. A regrettable byproduct of difficult times. I wish them well, but I'd advise you not to waste resources on them. They come and go and won't be able to assist with your ambitions. You can tell us about the marshals. Uh, well, go on, Mr. Reyes. I can take it. <laughs> uh, if you insist, Marshal Kwan. The Marshals are our police force here in Colorado Springs, but let's say their focus isn't so much on solving crime as deterring it. Most problems are dealt with using the gun and the boot, rarely the head. They are also known to look the other way if enough money changes hands. Therefore, this is a town where help from the Marshals is for those who can pay for it. Those who can't, fear them. Was that a fair assessment, Marshal Kwan? Uh, um. <laughs> Let's talk about something else. Certainly. Tell us your opinion on the local who big shots. Who are you interested in? The Patriarch? He is everything you have ever been told about him and more. A man who built a state with nothing but his bare hands and brute will. Even in his current state, he is dangerous. Indeed. I'd argue he's more dangerous now than he was in his youth. A man who is terrified of losing his place in the world will do anything to keep it. Anything. I I loved him once. Worshipped him. Now I just fear him. Fear what he could do to Colorado if he continues to unravel. Who else are you interested in? Victory Buchanan. Stay away from him if you can. Victory Buchanan isn't sane. He's a spoiled, homicidal brat who needs to be put down like a rabid dog. Uh, not that I would condone murder, Marshal. No, of course not. That would be illegal. Forgive me. I shouldn't have. Uh, just be careful. That's all I'm saying. People who spend too much time in Victory's presence don't live long. Who else are you interested in? Valor Buchanan. I've always felt a bit sorry for Valor. Book smart and quiet in a family where neither of those things were valued. But he grew up a peevish young man, always alert to slights, whether real or imagined. He ended up believing he was better than everyone else because he was misunderstood. And that's why he stays with the Gippers, I think. They understand him. Or at least pretend to. Who else are you interested in? Val Liberty Buchanan. She was a terrifying little girl and grew up to be a terrifying woman. I have never known anyone so able to focus or so certain of their path. She believes she is destined to rule Colorado and will not stop until she succeeds. But if she succeeds... Ooh, Woe to us all. Colorado will become a war machine, and all us citizens merely fuel for its ever-grinding engines. Who else are you interested in? Sheriff Daisy? <laughs> well, Reyes? Uh, well, I would say Sheriff Daisy is a woman to be both admired and feared. She is fair, but doesn't forget. And she is slow to forgive. You could say that again. Who else are you interested in? Uh, definitely Farron Brago. I wish that man had never come here. 
His legitimate business is the Little Vegas, a casino and brothel downtown. But he also runs a criminal empire, selling drugs, weapons, and information to anyone who can pay, including our enemies. I think the Patriarch allowed him to stay because he thought the people needed entertainment. But the Little <clears throat> Vegas hardly qualifies. It's a lurid pit of lost wages and despair. Disgusting. As for the man himself, he wears all the trappings of class. Fine suits, shoes, jewelry. But he's a thug at heart, no matter how hard he tries to hide it. Who else are you interested in? Oh, I think that's about it. Safe travels, Rangers. Anybody else in here that we need to talk to? No. Let's check out this thing, see if there's anything new about it before we head on to more rooms. Display is also stores. Clear access for Commander's Armory. Dual authorization protocol failed. Command presence required at primary access point and class fighter. Um, okay, let's uh, step away from terminal. I think I know it at once. Everybody come down here if you don't mind. Let's see if we can get this working. <clears throat> Now, let's see. X-ray, can you do this for me? Uh, the terminal is displaying information about the base systems. All seem normal. Step away from the terminal. Hey, look at that. We did it. That's awesome. Let's go check all this stuff out, then. Command recognized. Welcome back. Hurry up. I need you down here. Who knows what could be impo who could knows what could possibly be in here? Some angry things. So we got another nerd stuff utility pad. A huge blunt weapon. Oof. <clears throat> nice tactical shotgun. Another weapon crate here. Another nerd stuff utility. Wow, so many nerd stuff utility pads. Surprised that's all there is in here, actually. Cool. That's better than what I thought there was in here originally, at least. All right, let's continue exploring. Let's continue exploring. Oh, look how nice this room looks now. Look at that. It's the museum. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty cool. What you got for me? <clears throat> Seven eight. Seven eight. Check. 13C. Uh-huh. 13C. Hey, Rangers! 1B. Hope you like what I've done 1B. with the space. Got it. I 2B. do. Hmm. Not seeing too Model B. Bellamy Ward's Greenhouse sure? Spire, celebrating uh, the Rangers' uh, rooting of Dorsey's forces in the Garden okay. of the Gods. 4A. Yep. 4A. A plaque reads, a hydroponic bay taken from the bunker where the Buchanan family rode out of the deluge of fire. Oh, she did, the, she did this up so nice. It looks so much better now than being empty. Open this. Lance. It's your job. Junk. Oh, it's all the kit and caboodle right there. What if we had animatronic displays, like no. in the Patriarch's Museum in downtown? Isn't that how you get? Uh, There's a plaque next to this garage robots? statue. Robots are okay. autonomous. Animatronics yeah, can I can I read about machines. it? No? I don't know what those okay. words mean, but I still shoot first and ask questions later. Okay. Memorial plaque is Maybe fixed not. to the base of the holographic. It still won't tell me what it is. Okay, cool. Thanks for that. Anything new on this? No. A card propped on the fence chair reads the throne of Flab the Inhaler. Disco bot. Plaque next to the disco bot reads recovered after the Little Vegas nightclub was shut down. The billboard of Peak and Poke, the pre pocket apocalypse is prepared. Robot Let's mascots of pre war PSAs. Peak and Poke were meant to show the right and wrong ways of preparing for the end of the world. Each vignette humorously contrasted Noble Peak's forethought and generosity and Poke's short sightedness and greed. Since the deluge, the billboards have been often modified by survivalists who change the art and the message to suit the times, resulting in a darker humor than the original creators ever intended. Oh my. Alright, we're off. Cool. 
cool room. Keep doing what you're doing with that one. Who are you looking at? Hey, there's Lucy. Uncle Lucy, Gideon you is happy <clears throat> you stopped the human smugglers, but I am conflicted on the matter. The refugees need somewhere to go. But where? You mean keeping yourself occupied? I train, clean my guns, talk to the others, and try to learn more about the world beyond Broadmoor Heights. I have plenty to do with my time. Any thoughts on the Ranger organization? I admit that I have questioned some of your decisions, and that in turn has made me question mine. But on the whole, I feel the good we do outweighs the bad. So I am content to stay. Good, Lucy. Want to join our squad again? There is still injustice in the world, isn't there? Let's go. I want Lucy back. Oh, also, she apparently has a level up. That is great, Lucy. I'm glad to hear it. I'm not going to lie, Luce. We need your survival to go up. You can be our survival person. And... Uh, let's get her... Yeah, it's fine. We can do that still. Anything cool in here? Your strike meter gains a 5% bonus each test my hand. Yeah, sure. Do that as well. Alright, that's good. Everybody in here is pretty much taken care of. What's this? Lore book. Or no, just junk, okay. Right, nobody new in here. How's everybody doing in here? Nobody got any smokes. I'll buy your own for once. Seems good. We'll see how the refugees are doing hanging out in here. Hopefully they're all okay. Look, Ms. Hatton, <laughs> we got a few cases of beer as a donation from the police. Wonder if we can remove that door. Hmm. Maybe decorate a little. Might feel more like a home in here. Uh, not right now. Careful out there. Hmm. It's an uncaring world. I mean, Family's gonna love rangers. I should let them do that. Yeah, rangers, hi. Mama Cotter. I really don't want you to stay in there. Oh, now you found your compassion, you shit bags. Where the hell was your bleeding heart? She seems mad. She doesn't seem too happy with us. I think we're more or less done here. I think. I don't see much more to do. Let's head back to Downstown, Downstown, yes, Downtown, sir. Colorado Springs. How you doing, Austin Peas? Welcome back, Team November. Good. Got a lot of people that want stuff from us here. It'll be fine. Glad we have Lucia back on our side, though. She's so weak when it comes to con from some of these people. Like some of these are just so much HP, and then it's her. Or it's just none. Uh, yes. Oh no, did I go out? I wanted to go to downtown. Oh well. It's fine. We can do it from the main map as well. Sorry if you heard the water I was drinking. Needed a drink. Was dying. Oh, each time you do this, you be- Ah, it's okay. I would run over a full squad and just repair my vehicle. It's fine. Alright, it's, yeah, it's giving us the vehicle tech, so I'm assuming that means it's we're on the, the map. If I had to guess. Yep. Head back Remember, oh. this is Ranger HQ. I have good news. <clears throat> There's some new gear here next time you stop by. It's a big improvement over the basic stuff we had before. But one last thing. The Patriarch commissioned a sculptor to make a statue of Vargas outside our HQ. He's nearly done, but he'd like to know who we want to dedicate this statue to. Uh, the Fallen Rangers. Good call, November. Making sure the Rangers know they'll be remembered if the worst comes to pass may boost camaraderie. I'll pass it along. Over and out. Thanks. All right, I'll go back in. Because that's not what I wanted to do. But that's going to do for this episode of Wasteland 3, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a like. If you got anything to say, go to the comments below. If you haven't yet, hit that subscription button and the bell. It helps me out a ton. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace.